So welcome to the video we've all been waiting for, the most requested video of all time, and that is testing the cheapest drill on Amazon, but we're not gonna stop with that. We're also going to test the second cheapest. Here are <laughs> the bells of the ball. We've got at the number one spot at $26, the, what is it? The high spec, high specifications, I guess is that's what that stands for. We could expect some very tight tolerances and superior performance from that one, I'm sure. And then we go back to the very beginning, the Genesis model at coming in at $32. So. <laughs> I checked, checked on Amazon, these currently, or when I had purchased or ordered these last week, these at that current time were uh, at the bottom of the barrel. So the question needs to be asked, can you get a decent drill for 26, let's say under right around the 30, 20 to $30 range? Today we're gonna find out. We're gonna do a series of three tests. First, we'll do a drilling test. We'll put them to their paces. We'll do a drop test, and then we'll go head to head and we'll run them until one of them dies. <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what, what happens here. Okay, so let's just do a very quick overview here. So what we have is an 18 volt, uh, kind of old school technology battery. Everything feels, well, not great. <laughs> a lot of burrs and not very good fit and finish. Not, not great ergonomic, but not bad actually. I mean, this, this is, feels better than some of the lower end like Ryobi's that I've picked up before. It's not, not too bad. Forward reverse, it's got a clutch. Does the clutch work? One, yeah, clutch works. Doesn't sound great. If we go up to our top one, it doesn't go to 11, it only goes to nine. Well, pretty, pretty torquey there. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just a standard plastic chuck. So no, no frills. It does have a few nice features though. Look at that. Dual, I'm saying dual bit holders. How about that? That is nice. You don't see that on your Milwaukee DeWalt Makita. All right, so that's basically it. There's not a whole, there's one thing I am interested about though. So usually drills will have a, uh, a clutch or a two speed function, right? On the top that you can run at a low RPM or high RPM. These both have these little like covers on there and I, well, curiosity killed the cat. I just have to know what, what is in there. What is, it's my knife. I can do whatever I want to with it. See, it's a bench made. So I guess that broke, by the way. I don't know why that was there. But so the Genesis, back to the beginning, the Genesis has one as well. Let's take a peek inside. What, what, is, what is that? Now this one seems to be a little harder. To... All right, so that one's not gonna come out. So we'll never know what's inside the Genesis, which is just as well. All right, the Genesis now is also packed with features, many more features including an 18 volt battery. So these are the same, but good grief. But check this out. So we're gonna borrow a bit. It's got a magnetic bit holder. How about that? Not a very good one though, is it? I wouldn't recommend using that if you wanna hold on to your bits. And is there, are there any, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that it. it has a two position spirit level. I actually like that. I've got one of those on one of my old corded DeWalt drills and it allows you, it helps you to drill straight holes. It's actually kind of a functional tool right there to have that spirit level. I don't mind that. Forward and reverse, no clutch, or it does have a clutch as well. Does that work? Now this has a better sound than the high spec. Maybe the high spec is not as high. Well, this one goes to 15. It goes to 15. Well, that is pretty torquey there. I can't hold it at 15. Okay, so there is the overview of the two. Let's start with the drilling test. Being that both of these drills have only a quarter inch chuck, we will go with the biggest bit I have that will fit in there, and that'll be a one inch spade or paddle bit. Here we go. Let's start with the high spec, and we'll put the one inch paddle bit in. Oh, that, that, is, not a, that is not a nice sound inside of that drill. All right, here we go. Now, 
that is not a good drill. That didn't, uh, it doesn't have enough power. Even at 18 volts, it, will, it won't, I can't really make it go any further than that. That is, a, that's, that's actually very disappointing. That is not really, I, I'm afraid, very high specifications there. Let us move back to the Genesis. We'll go back to the origin of everything. Now that does have a whole lot better sound to it. And I didn't mention either that the Genesis actually comes with a pretty decent case. All right, let us begin. So I think it's pretty clear uh, which one is uh, coming out on top of the drilling test. That actually was not, that was not too bad. It has, if you listen, it has more of a precise sound. The gears sound better with this one. That one sounds terrible. It, there, it, I mean, it definitely feels different. What's the price difference in these two? We got 2632. I don't do math on camera, but that's uh, $6 difference and you get a case. Oh, there is really no question when it comes to drilling power, ergonomics, fit and finish and feel that the Genesis is a whole lot better for just a few dollars more. Let's see how they stack up to the six foot drop test. So let's start with the high spec. Okay, so the six foot drop test, what we'll do is I'll hold it just like this from the back of the motor at about eye level, about six feet high, and we'll drop it directly onto concrete. Okay, kind of just what we expected. The battery came out, nothing against the drill. They all do that, no matter what. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Something has come loose inside the high spec. Wonder if some, of, if some of its high specifications has come loose. So does it still work? Reverse, still works. All right, and now for the Genesis. Well, how about that? The Genesis is clearly coming out on top. The battery did not come loose. You don't see anything broken. Six foot drop test, that's a good test. That's typically what you would knock off the top of your small ladder. Does it still work? Of course it does. All right, it's time for the, the death match. That has a light. All right, friends, here we go. So this is what I'm gonna call the power tool death match here, where we've got a single bit chucked up and both together, and I'm gonna pull both triggers simultaneously, and we're gonna let them go until one of them dies, or catches fire, or smokes, or whatever. Got my fire extinguisher ready, <laughs> and <laughs> let the clock begin. Go, oh, 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 goodness, that's torquey. I'm gonna have to hold on tighter than that. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's under a strong load. Uh-oh, do you see the smoke? Uh-oh, I got smoke coming out of both of them. Oh, I should have put my respirator on, a fan or something. Oh, they don't, oh, there's the crackling. Oh man, which one's gonna die first? Which one's gonna be the victor? Maybe I should have put some gloves on. Oh, they're both smoking. You can smell the plastic burning. I haven't feel, feel, don't feel any heat yet. Definitely the high spec is, <coughs> the high spec is, <coughs> is definitely smoking more. Oh, it smells terrible. The light's still working in the Genesis. How long can they go? Is there gonna be a fire? I can feel it. they're oh they're still twisting pretty hard. Maybe I should clamp these in the vise next time. Ugh, how much more abuse can they take? Uh oh, the Genesis is making an audible sound. Smoke pouring out of the rear vents. Oh, still going though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Definitely. <coughs> I think we're a respirator with this next time, but now we're committed. They're still, they're still turning. Oh no! Oh, 
my arm, my hands are hurt, hurt so bad from this. Oh, boy, that either one of them will give up. They're just going and going here. There's a lot of cr cracking and popping coming out of the Genesis. It's starting to overcome it, but at what cost? The high spec is still fighting though, but it's fighting a losing battle, but this Genesis is, it might not win. It's smoking way more than the, than the high spec is. The high spec just kind of quit smoking, and, but it's still pulling. I don't feel any heat on the handle yet, but my hands are really getting tired. Oh, some, something's got to give here. How long can they go on? Somebody's got to give up or I'm going to give up. Neither one of them will, neither one of them will die. Look at the smoke, it's still coming out of the, the high point, or the high spec, that's quit smoking a long time ago. I, I don't know if it just, what it's doing. It's smoking a little bit, but nothing like the, the Genesis. They just won't die. Neither one will, will give up. Come on, just do something. Catch on fire. Goodness, batteries are getting lower, I can feel that. All right, well, man, I think that's all they're gonna do. They're just not, they're not drilling too much anymore, a little bit. That's it. So what did we learn here? <laughs> well, the, uh, the Genesis, I think it might be on fire. I mean, it's been, uh, oh, it's hot, the battery, oh, it's really hot. It's been smoking and making a bunch of uh, burning sounds for, for five minutes now. It, it doesn't seem to have any and show any sign of quitting. Uh, the uh, the mills, the high spec, you know, it just uh, it just underperformed in everything. It underperformed in drilling. It underperforming and underperformed in catching on fire. It's just kind of a mediocre high spec. I wonder if that's related to the high point. Anyway, it just kind of just did everything badly, including dying. Where the Genesis, it did certainly perform better in all aspects, from features to build quality, to to um, the sound of it and the power. But it also, well, it's done. It's it's gone for. It doesn't work anymore. It um, it's still smoking. Where the the high spec is still going, but I don't know. So. To answer the question, what did we learn? We learned that this one's terrible. And we learned that this one, the Genesis, is also terrible, but less terrible. Crap. The Genesis is on fire. I should have taken the battery out. Good grief, those things are dangerous. I know how to get the battery out of this one. That was pretty fun. <laughs> I have to admit, I, I do enjoy cheaping, testing these cheap tools. But, uh, you know, actually, in all honesty, the Genesis was a pretty decent uh, little drill uh, for $32. Uh, or the other one, the high spec, was uh, useless. Absolutely a piece of trash. So now would be a good time to click the thumbs up. If you'd like to uh, see more of these videos, let me know in the comments and what two tools you'd like to see test. Maybe we'll have a uh, do the same thing. We'll use the tool for its intended purpose, do a drop test, and then the ultimately well, the ultimate tool death match and they go until they smoke <laughs> so <laughs> or catch on fire all right well thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video